Hello, I'm Andre, the CEO at Zebra BI, and I'll present the latest release of Zebra BI Visuals for Power BI version 5.0. This is a major new version with major new features, new charts like stack charts, stacked area charts, stack bar chart, with some innovative new functionality. Um, then we have further improvements in our commenting solution, namely a comment box integrated into the visuals, and uh, custom row formatting options in our Zebra BI tables visual and more. So stay with me as I present the new features with a couple of practical examples. Let's start with the major new feature in version 5.0. Namely, we have improved our commenting solution in both the Zebra BI tables and the Zebra BI charts visual. So let me illustrate this. I have a waterfall chart here. Um, displaying um, growth from previous year. All right, now I want to comment on this chart and I do have a data field called the comment that I will add to my visual. So place it into the placeholder here, comments placeholder. And what I've got on a chart are two markers, okay, that uh, mark the presence of the comments on specific data points. So this is what we had before. You see the comment markers. Now the users can hover with their mouse over the comment marker and they will see the text of the comment in the tooltip. All right, this is what we had before. Now what's new is that if you navigate under the settings, you will find a new setting called the comment box. Simply turn it on, all right? What you have now is a new element on the visual that displays the comments. All right, this element is, is a little bit smart. Okay, so what it does is it actually generates completely automatically the title of the comment uh, consisting of the uh, category name. So in my case, this first comment refers to Q1. So I have the Q1 here, then I have the value of this specific data point. And if you have a comparison in your chart, namely if you have at least two measures um, in your visual, then you will also get the automatically uh, calculated um, difference between the measures. All right, so the variance is there and there's this little up, down triangle, red and green, depending on the, uh, uh, whether the variance is positive or negative. Below that you have the text and everything. So this is completely dynamic. It will change if you have filters and so on. It will respond if you resize the, the chart. And we have this in both the Zebra BI charts visual and the Zebra BI tables visual. So let me just uh, show quickly another example. This time I'm using the Zebra BI tables visual. So as you can see, I now have a complete report um, uh, and it is uh, done, it is created with only one Zebra BI tables visual, okay? And everything works, so uh, the comments are completely dynamic. So if I switch my period here from to April, now I have four comments, as you see on the right side. Um, if I switch to May, I have only two comments and so on. I can actually, you know, uh, flip around some some other slicers that I have on my on my page. So the whole report page is done only with one visual, and it has all the elements, including the comment box there. So uh, I hope that this function will uh, help you create more understandable and more actionable reports and dashboards in Power BI. This time we are adding completely new chart types to the Zebra BI charts visual. Namely, we have the stacked area chart and the stacked column chart. Now, let me first explain why did we decide to develop new chart types. Um, you do have stacked charts in Power BI. So let me just switch here to the native Power BI stacked column chart. And uh, it is a nice chart with all the data series and, and colors and a legend and so on. However, it may, uh, it may be difficult to actually understand charts like these uh, because if you have a lot of data series, you will not be able to actually uh, even read all the names of the data series. So for example, you will have to, the user has to switch 
between the, the, the legend, the parts of the legend and so on. It's actually very hard to understand what am I looking at. So uh, in order to bridge the gap um, in the data visualization, we have developed the uh, stacked column chart and the stacked area chart. First of all, you can switch between them with our chart slider, as you can with all the other charts in the ZBBI charts visual. All right, so this is the area chart, this is the stacked column chart now. And firstly, the legend entries. So the names of the data series are always aligned with the actual data, with the data labels. So this makes it much easier to read, much more legible. So this is called the adaptive legend and it'll just uh, follow the chart around. It's completely responsive and it will be always aligned with the data series. Next thing is um, the uh, Zero BI visual will now automatically aggregate or sum up uh, the data series uh, that are, in case you have a lot of data series, all right? So this is actually called the top N plus others feature, only this time we're using the others category to display all of the other data series um, on top of the uh, selected top N data series. Now you can reduce this with a simple click on a button here. So you have this up down command here. So you simply uh, click down to reduce the number of the uh, data series displayed and everything else will get aggregated to the others. So you will always have the top value, which is also displayed here, right? So the total for every column is always displayed here and um, you can simply increase or decrease the number of data series being displayed. Um, all right, next thing you'll find under the settings, you'll find a lot of new settings to control the uh, behavior and display of the chart, like, uh, you know, uh, color uh, scales. Uh, you can change the display of the labels inside the chart um, to display normalized labels, like the percent of the total of each column. So you can do that. Here you have the top N. Uh, you can rename the label for the others here, so you can, you know, translate it into your own language and so on. Now the coolest feature here is, if you don't like this chart, maybe, or if you feel that maybe it's not for all the users, right, the user now has a choice because this chart is now completely integrated into all the other features of the Zebra BI charts visual, all the other functionality. Number one, with one click, the user can simply switch between small multiples and a stack chart. So the data series will just get, you know, uh, uh, flipped apart uh, into these small multiples or will be stacked one on top of the other in the uh, stack chart. So every user can do this, even viewers, after you publish your report. Um, then the next thing is, for example, here, this chart, the other one, actually has a comparison. Okay, so now what you can do is you can display not just one measure in your stack charts, you can actually add your comparisons, your, your plan, your forecast, and, and so on. In my case, I'm using a forecast here. So without a forecast, a normal stack chart, but if I actually want to add the forecast or a previous year value or a plan or something like that, just take it and place it into the uh, placeholder here. All right, um, this is now a stack chart with a comparison. The magic thing here is if you filter this chart, so for example, let me just um, take tablets here. What happened with my other stack chart? Now it's filtered, so it only displays one data series. And what happened is this chart, the stack chart magically turned into a waterfall chart. Uh, it has a label here, tablet, so I know what I'm looking at, what was the filtered uh, um, data series and so on. And you can also then again use the <laughs> Zebra BI charts, um, chart slider here to maybe change the display of a particular 
chart. Okay, so this is how you control the behavior, the filtering behavior for the end users. So you know uh, the users can start with stack chart, they see the total and so on, and then if they are interested in the details, you know they will maybe filter it somewhere on the dashboard, and this chart will then present the data series in a more meaningful way with all the variances, changes, uh, trends, and so on. Uh, the similar thing happens in the uh, stacked area chart. So again here you can just split it up into uh, small charts, uh, uh, area, small area charts, and again because they are uh, in, in this way they are separate charts, they can have more details, uh, you, you can see, you can easily see the growth rates of each individual individual chart, you can compare the uh, trends across all the charts and so on, so the end user has this choice uh, here. Okay, let me uh, close this feature with uh, another example. Um, as with all the other charts that we have in the ZBBI uh, uh, charts visual, you will find that um, you can use many other settings. Like for example, if I'm now presenting costs, okay, I will simply go navigate here under the chart settings and I can invert the variance colors, okay? So normally you would see here uh, uh, we have a negative, a negative growth here, it's minus 3% from previous quarter, Okay, but because these are now costs, I will simply click here to invert the variance uh, colors, meaning um, you know declining costs are actually beneficial for us. So that's why the uh, uh, highlights turned into green color. Okay, uh, again with the filtering, you know, if you if you filter it here, now I'm only seeing the uh, costs of goods sold on the in the other chart or. Yeah, looking at operational expenses here, I can see now the uh, types of operational expenses in my other chart and so on. So it also works nicely in the filter context within your Power BI reports. So hopefully this will give you uh, even more tools, even more visualization methods to express yourself and make sure that your reports are as actionable as possible. The next new feature is the ability to completely change the format of rows in your Zebra BI tables. Okay, so for every row in your tables, you can now change the font color, the uh, color, color of the bar for this particular row, number formats, and so on. So let's uh, play around with it on the uh, costs of goods sold row in my example here. So I will right click and notice that we actually have uh, an improved design also of the um, right click menu here. So it's a little bit nicer and it has a couple of new options. You'll find the format item on the menu and as you can see now you can actually uh, change a couple of properties for this selected row. So let's um, Let's try another color here, so let me select something orange. All right, so this is now the font color, uh, just save that. Uh, next, you can actually color the bar for this particular row, so let's select the same color here, or a similar color, something like this slightly darker and so on. So as you can see, you can separately change the, the font color, the color of this bar, and also what is very also useful, the uh, number format. Okay, so each individual row in a Zebra BI tables visual can now uh, be displayed in a separate number format. Okay, why is this important? Uh, Maybe not in my case here, or actually it can be important also in my case here, because as you can see, I have some rows that are formatted as a percent. Okay, so as you see here, this row has a completely different value. It has a percentage, whereas uh, the one above it, it's maybe in millions. Okay, so uh, that's why you can now 
right click here and then in the format section actually um, select a percentage you can uh, format it in thousands millions or without the units you can change the number of decimal places only for this row and so on okay so with this we hope that you will achieve maybe two things first of all uh, the design features will help you highlight certain important elements in your structure of, of rows in your tables and number two if you have a table where you present several KPIs in rows and those KPIs may be completely different you might have your your revenue your number of employees revenue per employee percent margin as a percentage right uh, you can now do this directly on the Zebra BI tables visual simply right click choose format and select the most appropriate format for your rows in your Zebra BI tables version 5.0. We have a ton of other features and improvements in version 5.0. So let me maybe illustrate just one more briefly. Um, namely, um, this time we are adding full support for dark themes. Um, I would say previously the Zebra BI visuals were 99.9% .9 compatible with dark themes with the exception of this one little setting. Okay, um, in the Zebra BI charts visual, uh, you have this, this great option to actually click on a title in the small multiples uh, and this will present this pop-up chart. Okay, uh, now you can browse through different charts and so on. So this feature was introduced in earlier versions. However, this, the, the uh, uh, color of the background of this pop-up chart was always white. Okay, so obviously that does not work with dark themes. So that's why we have added this last little setting, design setting, uh, to help you with your dark themes. You'll find this under small multiples. There's a new color um, picker here uh, for the uh, background of this pop-up or zoomed chart. Okay, now you can set it to a dark color and now all with all the other design uh, settings that we have in, you know, changing the ability to change all the uh, labels, all the, the titles, the subtitles, the categories, the axes, the, the chart colors, the difference highlights and so on. Everything is now completely, completely flexible so it will work with any kind of theme that you are using either bright or dark and it's of course your choice and Zebra BI will support you with that with all the design options that we uh, now have in version 5.0. There are other improvements also the uh, updated custom visuals API uh, with the latest one from from Microsoft so uh, that will make the visuals even more uh, reliable and, and stable and so on. So with that I invite everybody to download the latest version from the uh, Microsoft App Source or from the uh, website zebrabi.com and of course follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter and see you at the next update of the Zebra BI visuals for Power BI. Thanks.